Welcome back. In this lesson, I am going to explain you how to resolve the most common error that is Tesseract not found error, Tesseract is not installed and it is not in your path and see read me for more information. Basically, whenever you're trying to extract the string or the text from the image, for example, uh, I have some kind of an image like this and from this image, I extracted the, or cropped this kind of a number plate and from that number plate, I just want to extract the strings from it or text from it. For that, the generally the one of the most commonly used OCR software is PyTestRat and Python. You can see that I already installed the PyTestRat and using the object detection model, I uh, detected the location of the number plate and then I cropped it and passed it to the PyTestRat to extract the information or the text from it. But unfortunately, when I'm trying to execute this, this is what the error that is getting is file not found or particularly the Tesseract not found error and Tesseract is not installed and it's not in your path C readme file for more details. All right, now how we can resolve this kind of issue? For that, first of all, what you will do, let's go to Google and uh, in the Google type Tesseract and press enter and you can look into the link that is the github repository which is the official github repository of the tesseract OCR you can see the tesseract open source OCR engine is the main repository click on this or you can also find the repository URL from this like at, uh, https github.com slash tesseract hyphen OCR slash tesseract okay so once you are in this uh, repository, then you can scroll down and look into the documentation of the Tesseract OCR. If you simply scroll down and uh, uh, there you can see the installing the Tesseract. So Tesseract is something we need to install manually. So what you can say is that you can either install via the pre-built binary package or build it from source. So what you have to do is you need to click on the install tesseract via pre-built binary package see it doesn't matter probably you might already install the pi tesseract but uh, it's not related to the pi tesseract it is something more than that right now what we can do just click on the install pi tesseract and it will go to the official documentation or the official website of the tesseract osia and uh, there you can see the installation process for the different operating system particularly for ubuntu you need to, if at all you are working on the Linux operating system like Ubuntu, then you need to uh, type the following command that is sudo apt install tesseract hyphen OCR. Okay, it's a very simple for the Linux user and also for the Mac user, but for uh, even for the Mac user, it is simple like you know sudo port install tesseract. That's it. Whereas for the Windows operating system or the Windows user, it is a bit different what you have to do is that you need to download the installer that is uh, tesseract 3.05 and tesseract 4 and tesseract 5 are available and you can simply download any of this and probably you can use the latest version and download that and uh, in order to get the old version that is a uh, particularly 3.02 and you can click on this download page and you can see the all the packages that was readily available right uh, whereas for the windows installer and particularly the third party thing and the current and older versions in order to get this you can click on this url in order to get this uh, all the versions that are currently available right this is how you can get into this page and do all these things and what i can do is that just look into this url and you can also find this url in the description and where you can actually download all the binary packages whatever you want okay even though there are the two binary packages that is 32 bit version and the 64 bit version it is highly recommendable to go with the 32 bit version and i'm looking for the latest available 32 bit version is this which is tesseract hyphen ocr w32 hyphen setup v5.3 and so on so look into the very most recent basically it might find all the recent challenges and so on 
So let me click on this and this will actually download the .exe file for me or binary file for me. All right, I have successfully downloaded the binary file and what I have to do is I need to install this. For that, right click and run as administrator. Click on S and follow the instructions. Now select the language, which is English and click next and click on agree. You can use any one of the option. It's up to you install anyone using this computer or install just for me. Just to click on this install anyone using this computer. Click next. And uh, if at all you want to get the additional script data and the language data, you can select these options and you can download this. Otherwise, just simply click on next. And this is very important that you can look into the destination folder is uh, C program files 86 and uh, test rat hyphen of CR. So let's copy this and paste somewhere into the new text document. And paste it here. So let's save it for the further reference. Now, and this is my path. Let's save this and we will we will come back to this in a short time. Now click next and install. Click next and finish. Done. So with this we have successfully downloaded the hide set. Now let's refresh it. And remember that we already saved the path in the text document, right? Let's copy this. Or uh, you can go to this particular path. Let me go to that path. That I need to go to the C drive and uh, program files. Next, search for Tesseract on CR. Cool. So, this is what uh, the folder I'm in and uh, make sure you have all everything is there in the test data and here you will, particularly we are working on the English language and make sure this is available that is English train data is available what you have to do is let's copy this and uh, paste it here we just want both the cases just paste the test data in the both the uh, places I want uh, uh, the test data should be in the main folder and as well as the, in this folder that is test data. All right. Now the next step is we need to set our environmental variables. For that, we need to type on the Windows in the search. You can type environmental variables so that you can see like you know edit the system environmental variables control panel. Click on this. Right, this is the system properties. Now let's minimize everything. Let's let's put this. Okay, and here you can see there is the environmental variables are there. Click on this environmental variables, and in the path, this is the user variable path. In the path, click on edit, and here you can see basically this sort of the path that was available for me. Now I need to add this also into the path. Let's copy this path and uh, click on new and paste that path here. Then click OK. Also in the system variables, you have some path. Even in that also do the same thing. Click on edit and then click on new and paste it here. Now click OK and OK and click OK here. Done. With this, we have successfully set the path. Now everything is done. Now safely close this. And now what we can do is uh, go back to my program. So this is the program I'm currently working on. Now what I have to do is I need to close this notebook and open this and restart my Jupyter notebook again. We close this. And this is the Jupyter notebook I'm running. Close this. 
and now open the chip to make the again. All right, now I restarted my Jupyter notebook and uh, opened my the notebook that was I'm currently working on. Now let me run all the necessary steps before moving to that step. All right, now I'm in the final step that is extracting the text from the image. Now let's see whether we are getting this or not. Let's execute this. and done you can see that we have successfully extracted the text from the image and that is how you can able to solve the error if at all you're still facing the same issue then don't worry restart your computer and try again hope this error solves now don't forget to subscribe to our channel that is data science anywhere thank you very much